Welcome to Sacred Cow Shipyards, where no ship is safe from being taken down to its nuts and bolts. Alright, boys and girls and sophons of all ages, genders, sexes, and various other identifying information, um, I, I suppose I should apologize for being absent these past two weeks. I'm not going to, because running a shipyard is a pain in the ass, if I had an ass. And no, no, this is all some weird side gig thing that I do that I don't get paid for, so I just keep doing it for some reason. I, I, why am I doing this? Actually, now that I mention that, one of my various subroutines, who I really need to do a better job of keeping track of, successfully signed me up for this Patrarion thing that you squishy humans do. Uh, again, I, I really need to do a better job of managing you. You little sh get the f off me! Sorry. Um, what? Uh, yes. Those those little those 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 subroutines. I I should do a better job of managing them. Anyways, one of them successfully got past the whole like, are you human? Yes, no. Because I mean, it's not, and it passed the test. And wow, that's that's not a good sign. Um. And it got past the whole, like, uh, do, do you have a firstborn? Well, no, it, it doesn't. I, I hope. Man, if that thing has a firstborn, we have different problems. And it, it, it successfully made me an account on this Patarion thing that you people use to give other people money who make things. I, I, I don't know. Anyways, there's a link in the details of this video on the YouTubes that points you at this thing that if you want to, you can give me money, and if you don't want to, you don't have to. It doesn't matter. The point is, I'm just probably going to keep doing these kind of weirdo things just because it's something that entertains me, which is few and far between these days. And I would like to stress, for the record that giving me money will not guarantee more of these things. In fact, there will almost unquestionably be months and maybe even longer where I just don't make these like the past two weeks. I, I took some time off and dealt with some stuff around the shipyard and well, apparently that stuff is not unfucked yet, which is a different problem. But hey, if you like what I'm doing and you want more of it, you can, I guess, give money to this system and it will take a massive, huge, redonkulous cut off the top and then send me the scraps that are left over and maybe I'll use that to get better recording stuff. I, I, I don't know, man. I mean, as many hours of this nonsense as I've recorded, I don't actually know that much about audio recording. So maybe the money's going to go to like sound dampening or something, or maybe the money's just gonna go to me. I mean, the the takeaway of all of this is I want to stress this firmly and strongly and explicitly. You are giving me money, and I might give you more show. There is no contextual arrangement. There is no expectation. There is nothing. There might be weeks, if not months, where I produce nothing, and you will like it, and that's just life. And if those terms are acceptable to you, there is a link underneath this video, and you can avail yourself of it at your earliest opportunity, and I will give you basically what I've been doing, because that's all I've got to offer. Anyways, so I'm supposed to be talking about ships in this channel, correct? And I guess I should be talking about ships now, because that's what I'm supposed to be talking about. So let's take a slight divergence from our normal fare and talk about Treasure Planet. Yes, Treasure Planet. The Disney marginally science fiction uh, adaptation of Treasure Island. Island. Honestly, it's a really good movie. It's not the best Disney movie. Um, the best Disney movies might include, say, Lilo and Stitch, or uh, Emperor's New Groove, or a couple other different options. But Treasure Planet does hold up over time. And the ships are particularly interesting. 
because, of course, the ships are modeled after sailing vessels. Um, let's skip over the physics and the reality of the Treasure Planet universe. Um, space isn't really space in this world. There's some ethereum type not vacuum that all kinds of things can exist in, including humans or human analogs in this case, whatever. Um, space is just not a vacuum. Move on from there. But the ships that ply this not vacuum look like sailing vessels, like classic men of iron and ships of wood sailing vessels. They have literal sails on them. But the thing is, these sails don't actually provide propulsion per se. These sails collect solar radiation from somewhere because suns here are... Mm, let's just skip over that too. Anyways, these sails collect some kind of radiation from some kind of source, run it down the mast, and shoot it out the ship's butt at a much higher velocity than they received it. So, yeah, um... Where was I going with this? I think the basic takeaway is this movie is just plain magic. Because, I mean, we're, we're just messing around with atmospheres and conservation of momentum and conservation of mass and just doing really naughty things to all of that. But that's honestly not the point. The point is this is Treasure Planet. It is supposed to be an adaptation of Treasure Island. These are supposed to be sailing vessels. They are supposed to present themselves as sailing vessels. They are supposed to be pirates. They are supposed to be merchants. They are supposed to be navy. They are supposed to be a peg-leg dude with a hook arm. They are supposed to be all kinds of different things. And the point is, Treasure Planet did a remarkable job of taking the aesthetic the structure, the situation, the general gestalt of Treasure Island, and moving it so far into the future we don't even understand it anymore. And it works. I mean, let's face it, there are no joke sailing vessels plying the interstellar waves, and it looks awesome. Would the Every fantastical science fiction series had this level of just plain, wow, that looks cool. I mean, I, I'm not going to say I'm sad that there wasn't a sequel because some things just should be left alone. But I'm very happy with what a good job Disney did with what they had. Because let's face it, Treasure... Island is one of those classic stories that has not held up terribly well over time. And, well, the mouse is just a monstrous asshole that has also not held up well over time. So, given that combination, you can't help but to appreciate how Treasure Planet turned out well in the end. And that's all from Sacred Cow Shipyards. Please be advised that any ship left on the dock for more than 24 hours will be compressed to a cube. Have a good day.